good evening students welcome to basic electrical lectures so in this lecture uh, we are doing a last topic in our domestic wiring the sub topic is uh, right short notes on fuse and mcb and i request all my subscribers to watch the video lectures of a respective module in a sequence okay so it is uh, class number 17 if you mistakenly if the playlist is not properly arranged if you mistakenly watch an other lecture so you can see uh, the lecture with this class number okay so later i will be i will also go through the playlist i will arrange in a sequence okay let's start with this topic write short notes on fuse and mcb so if they ask like this question um, you should uh, compulsory write this point both are protective device what is fuse protective device what is mcb protective device definitely there will be one mark for that don't miss this uh, that point what is fuse and what is mcv both are what protective device that word compulsory issue right to get one mark and this question will be asked for less marks around 3 to 4 marks and other way of asking question is compare fuse and mcv like that they are going to ask okay so let's start with the uh, fuse so what do you mean by fuse a fuse is a simplest device okay used in an electrical circuit to protect against overloading or fire hazards due to short circuits and then uh, the fuse consist a small metal piece is a small piece of metal and we can call that uh, as a fusing element and we should connect this is important we should connect the fusing element always in series with the circuit see i written on the board this is some circuit and we should connect the fuse see fuse is connected in series with the circuit let consider the circuit is having some rl load okay resistive and inductive load this is one circuit see the fuse is connected in series with the circuit okay it may be resistive load or inductive load or capacitive load so whatever it may be some circuit we should connect fuse in series with the circuit this is the key point where i should connect fuse in series with the circuit see what happens if any excess current if excess current uh, flowing in the fuse then the fuse element the fuse if uh, element will going to melted out melted and then breaks the circuit so that your circuit elements are protected against the excess current flow suppose if fuse does not operate okay then what happen this excess current flow in the circuit and that circuit element cannot withstand for this excess current okay so what are the reasons for excess current due to short circuit okay like there is a major reason short circuit due to that the excess current flows we should not allow that excess current into the circuit okay and important thing is we should connect the fuse always to the face of the supply system or live wire so keep that is important so three points you can write it in a short notes that is it is a protective device and we should connect fuse in series with the circuit and we should connect the fuse always to the live wire okay got it so this is about fuse and next is who is invented fuse see this simplest concept was proposed and invented by the scientist famous scientist we all know that is um, thomas alva edison in the year 1880 he was he invented uh, this uh, uh, fundamental concept to protect the electrical circuit okay and the fuse element is having its uh, rated current value it's uh, it is having some certain uh, current ratings and then we can include this fuse we can include the fuse uh, uh, in the various stages of installation to protect the circuits and the entire wiring system so important thing is we should connect the fuse element okay in uh, in series with the circuit and to the live wire this is very much important okay and next is 
working principle on what principle the fuse element will work on what principle fuse works see when the excess current when an excess current flows to the fusing element heat is produced heat is produced what is that heat i square i square rt r into t so due to this excess heat the temperature rises rapidly so due to that excess temperature and excess heating effect the fuse element will get melts and hence breaks the circuit okay if the circuit get breaks then no current flows then your circuit elements or the circuit uh, components is protected against excess current okay so it acts like a protective device so the heat produced is also written in some books with letter q so i am going to use the letter capital h the heat produced so understood so this is the working principle of fuse when excess current flows through the fusing element uh, due to short circuit the fuse element uh, melts and then breaks the circuit and then uh, your entire circuit is disconnected from the supply okay so the, this circuit may be your electrical appliance or some uh, network so now um we can uh, design the fusing element so in the uh, laboratory why was they will ask why the fuse wire is having very thin so very thin uh, the area of the fuse wire is having thinner thinner in section thinner in uh, cross section <laughs> so that is so according to the concept uh, law of resistance rho l by area see the fuse wire should have a uh, high resistance value so in order to get to more resistance okay we should decrease the cross sectional area of the wire if the cross sectional area of the wire is lesser means it looks thin so the fuse wire is made up of thin material it looks thinner thinner not thicker okay thin so the fuse wire looks very thin okay because if the area decreases resistance increases what is the function of resistance opposes the flow of current what should oppose the flow of current excess current should not flow to the circuit itself okay like that the fuse element should merit if we made it with higher resistance excess current will not flow okay got it but in a normal working condition the current should flow so there should be a some compromise between uh, selecting the resistance of the fuse element so there should be uh, we should follow the uh, desirable characteristics so the desirable characteristics of a fuses are it should have good conductivity whatever the fusing element you are going to select that element should have good conductivity so that is the first point the fuse wire should have good conductivity if there is a spelling mistake please kindly adjust so next is the fuse element should be low cost okay the element should be low cost and the it should have low specific heat the specific heat of the fuse okay specific the low specific heat it should have and the fuse element should have low melting point okay and the fuse element should have low melting point and then last one is it should be non deterioration due to oxidation means the fuse element should not get rusted if it get rusted it loses this conductivity if conductivity loses there will be no electrons so the material loses the electrons okay due to oxidation okay got it so the last point is it should be non uh, deterioration okay so non deterioration word i said is correct so spelling you can write it so it should be non deterioration due to oxidation what are all this these are all desirable characteristics of a fuse okay got it and next is uh we we are going to follow uh the ratings of fuse okay so the ratings of fuse also plays a uh, important role in selecting the fusing material so the two ratings common ratings we are going to use on a fusing element is 
rated current rated current what do you mean by rated current see it is the maximum current flows through the fusing uh, maximum current which can carried by the fusing element so that the element will not get melted the element will not get melted or not get overheating that current is called rated current and next is fusing current another technical term is fusing current see fusing current is nothing but it is the minimum current okay which flows to the fusing element so that the element melts and breaks the circuit that is that current is called fusing current so on combining these two the manufacturer will specify the uh, technical term it includes both the parameters both ratings that is called fusing factor that the technical term is fusing factor what is fusing factor it is defined as the ratio of fusing current fusing current to the rated current fusing current to the rated current okay so keep in mind the fusing current should be always more than rated current so therefore uh, fusing factor should be what is this what what will be its value should be more than 1 the fusing factor should be more than 1 always okay so for uh, domestic wiring if we install the fuse for domestic wiring so as per the uh, indian electricity rules we should maintain the fusing factor value to if you are installing the fuses in the various stages of the wiring system you should follow the fusing factor to okay got it so it, its value go keep on changes depending on the load how much current it is carrying based on that so we can select the different factors but different for fusing factor value but it should be more than one okay got it so now is uh, material fuse material what it is made up of see if uh, fuse materials is uh, made up of for smaller current readings for smaller current readings the fuse material is made with lead and tin alloy combination lead and tin alloy combination for smaller current readings up to 10 ampere so what is the ratio out of 100% how much percent will be the lead and how much percent will be the tin that is also important what is the passing marks out of 100 35 okay don't try 35 one mark extra you you write so if you apply rv if you return well if you got 35 after rv you will get 36 only one mark okay so the lead portion okay together will make fusing element lead and tin together make fusing element so 36% lead and then what is the remaining 64% tin so this is the ratio uh, of the fusing element is made it for smaller current ratings however for higher current ratings the fuse element the fusing element is made up of copper so zinc silver aluminium copper zinc okay zinc not zinc okay let me write correctly z i n c copper zinc uh, this word is silver silver aluminium and even lead and tin also so like that you can use any type of uh, material but whatever the fuse element you are going to choose that should satisfy this desirable characteristics okay so out of all this which one is a good conductivity copper so you can that should match the desirable uh, quality desirable characteristics if i take aluminum what is the desirable uh, aluminum is having low melting point compared to copper okay so got it but all this material should match the fusing factor also should be more than 1 so i hope this much is sufficient 
to write about fuse. The important points I will tell once again. What is fuse? It is a protective device. It should always connect in series to the circuit and it should connect uh, to the live wire of the supply. Uh, in fuse, the fusing factor is should be always more than one. The fuse material is made up of lead and tin for smaller current ratings. For higher current ratings, it is made up of copper, zinc, silver and aluminium, etc. Okay. So, the lead and tin combination will be 36% and 46%. Okay, got it. Now, MCB. Now, we can move on to MCB. See, MCB is nothing but, M is nothing but mini. M-I-N-I. Mini circuit breaker. Mini circuit breaker. Okay, simply. But correct word is miniature circuit breaker. Okay, miniature. M-I-N-I-A-T-U-R-E. Miniature circuit breaker. See, in a modern practice, we are using MCB instead of using fuse. So, we are not using fuse nowadays. We are using MCB. So, for that a reason, uh, the reason is the MCB uh, to implement the fuse in the cutoff in the metal board section, it occupies more space and it looks cumbersome and uh, it, the installation is also not uh, so easy. It takes more time if you place the uh, uh, fuse. However, uh, the cost of fuse is very less compared to MCB. If the fuse cost is 25 rupees, the MCB cost will be 120 rupees. So, MCB cost is almost 5 times, near to 5 times higher value than the fuse. So, the fuse is made up of porcelain material. Okay. And the cost is less, but, but it breaks the circuit and once the fault is cleared, we should, what, when, once the break the circuit, the fuse wire will get a breakdown and we need to insert another uh, fuse. So, we, if we take a rewirable fuse, when our fault is cleared, we can we keep on replacing the uh, fuse wire. Okay. So, that, uh, that is hazardous also. Okay. And while doing that, we should take some uh, safety precautions. So, got it. So, next is coming to MCV. It is a clean and neat device. Whatever the drawback in the fuse is overcome in the MCV. It breaks the circuit. What it will do means when excess current flows, it disconnects the supply. Okay. So, it disconnects the supply. Excess current means when fault occurred, it disconnects the supply. After fault is cleared, when fault is completely cleared, then again the MCB will going to connect the circuit. Means MCB will get switched on automatically. Okay, got it. So this mechanism is made it in MCB. So this is the only uh, difference between fuse and MCB. But both are protective device only. So we can find the MCBs uh, in uh, in uh, modern in, in cities. And in villages, still it is running with fuse only. Okay. So the village people, if any if any fault occurs, if it is stripped, the fuse wire get melted out. They will switch off the supply and they will take another copper wire, a certain length of copper wire, and they will fix it in the fuse contacts so that uh, again uh, they can uh, run the uh, again and the sub supply get connected to the circuit. So like that, they will replace n number of times. So instead of replacing a number of times, use the automatic device. It breaks the circuit and makes the circuit. Okay, got it. So I hope guys, this much is sufficient to write about fuse and EMCV. Once again, finally, final touch. Both are protective device. Okay, fuse should connect in. Fine. So not that the fuse and uh, MCV. Both should connect in series with the circuit, and both should connect to the live wire of the supply system. Okay, so. Major difference, cost is less, cost is higher. Okay, it is the simplest device. It is advanced device. Okay, it can make and break the circuit. So, replay the video uh, so that if you, you can uh, get the points. Okay, it is not good telling the same points again and again. So, guys, uh, this completes the fuse on MCV. In the next uh, video lecture, I will be going to explain precautions against electrical shock. If a person gets electric shock, how electric shock 
will get and what to do if a person get electric shock and how to prevent against electric shock this is a last topic in domestic wiring and that will be uploaded soon okay so guys please give a uh, like and share the lectures and and tell your friends to subscribe the channel uh, this basic electrical lectures so and try to uh, make your friends also get pass in this subject